Hello everybody, welcome back to more Enter the Gungeon Lich Streaks. Welcome back to Enter the Gungeon, farewell to arms. We're on a streak of 24 or 3,000, whichever one you want to go with. But let's roll our eight-sided dice, see who we're going to be today. Today, we are going to be the character 2, Bullet. Alas, alas. Okay, just because I got this back installed and I... A million questions will come in. What is the obey on the carpet? That's from Mod the Gungeon. I got Mod the Gungeon back up and going. And uh, that that's all that is. It's not, nothing fancy that you have not unlocked. Don't you worry your pretty little face. It all good. It's just a it's just a little thing that, that basically signifies that you got Mod the Gungeon on. In case you want to uh, open up the console and, and give yourself some crazy things. And... <laughs> because I started talking about it, the answer to how do I get it? Well, first of all, you have to have PC. You have to have it on PC. It does not work otherwise. Uh, and then after that, just go to... Oh, I'll probably just end up putting the link in the description. But if you just Google Mod the Gungeon, it's literally the first result. So if I forget to put the, the link in the description, it's literally the first result on Google. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. You can, you too can have mods. And to, to answer the inevitable follow-up, no, I have no idea how to troubleshoot it. <laughs> all right, now that that's all out of the way, did we break the, we didn't break the barrel. I don't know if we want to go or not, but we didn't break the barrel, so that's definitely an option. But, yeah, mod the gungeon back up and running. So maybe we'll see some modded stuff coming up soon. I've been asked a boatload of times when I'm going to check out the the character mod, and uh, the answer is very soon. The answer is very soon. I'll check out the, the special characters. If anybody wants to, to get on making some extra cool ones or some Retromation-based ones, oh, you better believe it. I will play those pronto in the modded series when we start back up. But how is everybody doing? I'm excited. We're on our streak. We're going to become 25, which is the legal age to rent a car in the United States. And that is why that is a very special number. Because everybody, oh, everybody knows that that's a special number. 25, special thing. Everybody grows up. They just, they're dreaming of renting, renting a car. Absolutely. But I'm probably going to get that Darumi. The Daruma Jamaica. Probably going to take you. Because it's just a dang good item. And the price of one key. It's just like... It's a guaranteed good item from a chest, really. Ooh, look at that win box we got there. Oh, baby. Nothing in there. That I'm feeling like opening, I should have said. Obviously, there's a chest in there. I I ain't that dumb. I ain't that blind. Probably... Oh, I really thought there was one in here. Chest vampirism just strikes me as a nah. Heart locket. Honestly, it's like a maybe. I'll go for this, though, and we'll fight our, our boss. Get rid of all that. Get rid of all the shrubbery. It's just gonna cause problems. Run away. I want him to do... Okay, if you get far enough away, he does do his... Uh, what I consider to be the easier move of the two to dodge, which is the rocket move. Or if you, alternatively, have a harder time dodging the rockets for some reason, then you want to be as close as possible to him, because then he's going to do this move. Oh, my God. Ever since I installed Mavi Gungeon, it's been doing that, though. Oh, man. All right. This is kind of the, uh, probably the most annoying first floor boss, just because you don't really want to be pushed towards him. I mean, you, you don't want to be pushed towards any boss, but this one especially, just the fact that Blasphemy pulls you a bit, a little bit forward, it's kind of not great. Not great in that scenario. All right. We're doing it. We're doing it. I want the extra dodge roll damage. We got ourselves that. 
that item which shall not be named and we got ourselves the meat bun which will be gone in no time don't we know it oh my god you've got to be kidding me r.i.p meat bun All right, that's all I'm doing. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. We're done. We're out. See you in hell. We got it. I don't know that we're going to get bonus damage from Sticky Crossbow or not. I just I don't know to this day how it interacts the uh, like you know because it's got m m most of his damage probably comes from the explosion right the vast majority comes from the explosion not the fact that the tiny little shot is hitting you know so i don't know if the explosion scales up in damage or not if anybody knows the guaranteed answer to that that'd be awesome but you know what everybody's just gonna say they know the answer so you know what i take it back don't tell me the answer i trust nobody Best way to go through life. Trust no one. Not even yourself. Especially not yourself. Who has more of a reason to lie? To yourself than yourself. You have everything to lose if you're lying to yourself. Oh, we should have gone. Well, we didn't know. We couldn't know. Alas, alas, it's all right. Oh, oh, sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. I would like to get the, uh, any kind of ammo lit. We've had, we got the Daruma and gold ammo lit recently, though. Give me something like, uh, just give me like a frost or a fire or something. We go elemental. We take those. Did I miss all those? I don't like this. Premium guard flash. Yo. Oh. I don't like it. I don't like it. Meat bun is just a bundle of stress. It's just a little ball of stress. That's all it is. No boss damage cap, so it doesn't matter if we uh Oh explode early got him nice not bad not bad see sticky crossbow when there's no boss damage cap is a different story altogether it's a different story altogether singing it makes me sing a different tune indeed indeed I sing uh, I'll sing sticky crossbows praises to the high freaking heavens the moment that the boss damage cap gets out of the game the boss armor, if you will, if you will. I know I will, because I already did. Bad. All right. What custom character would we would we want in the game? Besides, is there anything besides obvious? Obviously, like a little a little Rito character would be so cool for to be modded in. But I'm trying to think of other like inside joke type characters. The only thing that comes to mind is the Anne villain. The Anne villain, like an actual super villain. That that was a ways back. I don't even know if that was in Farewell to Arms or if that was in uh, AG and D. But the Anne villain is a uh, for the un, un uninitiated, the gun initiated. The Anne villain is a he is a villain that is <laughs> he, he's like he masquerades as a hero, but he's actually a villain. And it's even in his name. It's he's because he's an villain. Whoop. But he just he doesn't do a very good job at covering it up. He's a, he's a bad man, masquerading as a uh, as a good man. But no, but nobody even thinks that he's a good man. That's that's an villain in a in a bottle for you. It's doing okay. Doing okay. We got one blank. 
I don't know if I'm hitting anything. Flip, 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 flip. Slap him with the Darum. We are gonna Darum it to him. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. There's no way we could have killed that in time. All right, we're gonna totally lose the meat bun, and that's okay. Sometimes it's it's fine to not have nice things. Sometimes things don't have to go the way you want. Sometimes you can just sit in your own disappointment. And sometimes you're just a god, it's okay. Invincibility, I mean, it's probably better, truly. Where did we find the secret room? We did. We take those. We take those. Doesn't blow the the roof off the place, but it's it's nice. I like it more than uh more than maybe I should. But should you ever like anything more than you should? Because you know, there's a there's a lack of positivity in the world. You know, like not saying there's no positivity because that would be a very pessimistic take, and therefore. Proving my point, I guess. But no, not here. Not here in the retro nation. We don't do that here. We're positive. We're positive. I'm positive. We're going to make it happen. I don't know what I'm even saying anymore. Blind positivity. We take those. Slap. Oh. It's okay. There's a learning. There's a learning opportunity. I don't know how, but it was. Honestly, the best thing to use with the meat bun situation we've got going is probably the blasphemy, because it's going to be a little bit more defensive. It's nice. It's aggressive. It's defensive. It's the whole shebang. The whole kitchen caboodle. Also, the damage is just killing it right now. We don't need anything else. Oh, worked, but not how I wanted. Oh, I totally forgot we we went out of our way and we actually purchased the uh, the crash helmet, the blast helmet, which is maybe not the smartest choice for a meat bun run. But the second we lose our meat bun run, we're gonna have some meat bun fun. No, we're not. We're gonna have some regular fun. But oh my god, every time I get this trap room, ever since I turned on movement speed out of combat, every single time since I turned on movement speed out of combat, I've just walked right into the pit the second I entered that room, every single time. The second I entered that room, it just doesn't matter. Just the, the pit is so close to the door. Makes a guy want to cry. Meat bun's dead, so it's time to roll in enemies. Hup. I mean, it's pretty smooth. Going pretty well. hey -ah! Oh, we don't really want him to get pushed away. Honestly, it's probably, probably a good thing we lost it. Now we can actually play around a little bit more with our dodge roll damage, which should be off the rails crazy. Okay, that makes sense. I got stuck in his body because I dodge rolled into him. It's okay, don't mind me. I'm not mad. Positive only. Never mad, only always positive. Blindly positive. Make it happen. It's my slogan. It's like, it's like, uh, it's like Nike. Always positive. And then the tagline is, make it happen. Sounds like a motivational poster, if you ask me. Also sounds a little unrealistic, if you ask me. But, no. No, no, no. That is pessimistic once more. We can do it. We wouldn't be using our dodge rolls to kill if we didn't have faith. 
All right, what would I want to go with this at this point? Just honestly, maybe like some some movement speed to play around with extra would be, we're so screwed, I, we're so screwed. The slowdown on the bullets as soon as we get hit, you know, that's gonna come in handy this run um, because we're gonna have some fun with our dodge rolls. Oh my god, the wind box. <laughs> Honestly, we're doing it. No, wait, wait. But wait, but wait. Should we do it? Yeah, we should do it. We can get some pretty crazy big dodge rolls in here now. All right, well, we're gonna do it. We've, we've deroomed de it to him plenty of times recently. Oh, we're doing pretty good free damage here. Okay, now we gotta get away. We gotta get away. And look at that, because we got Ice Cube. That's why. That's why I thought it would be a actually good idea. Because now with the Ice Cube, it was basically charged up again already. Look at that! Look at that dodge roll damage! Dang, dude. It ain't dumb. It ain't dumb. I ain't a dumb man, son. We got ourselves the Gungeon Ant. Queen Synergy. Hell yeah, we take it. I'm feeling here. I was wrong. I felt wrong. Should've bought the backpack. Should've bought the backpack. Should've bought the backpack. Should've bought the backpack. Guys, I think we should've bought the backpack. Riddle, you make me cringe when you don't buy the backpack. Yeah, gotcha. Don't you worry. Let's answer a Discord question or so. Why don't we? Instead of fighting straw men, let's answer the real, the real creatures in the Discord. Link in the description if you want to ask. Ask a question. Please ask away. Azrael Adonis asks, riddle me this, Rito. What classic and beloved game do you despise? and think is trash. I've definitely talked about the concept of trash games before and the fact that my 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 perspective on games being bad is different than most. I don't like to call I don't like to call games bad. So like the games that I call bad are like really just they have to not be like pleasurable to play and on top of it it has to be like clear that it was like a cash in or something like a like a licensed property game directed to kids that's just that actively sucks because they're like oh kids are kids aren't gonna know kids aren't gonna know uh, and it's like it's true but sometimes they're so bad that even the kids do know you know or it's like the game's over in two hours like which is, you know, it's a 60 buck game over in two hours geared towards kids and it's bad the whole time or whatever. Like, it's a full price, full fledged game. It's just, it's abusive. It's not good. That was not a good hit. Speaking of, speaking of not good things. So, as far as like a classic beloved game that I would hate, the fact that I have a hard time calling like, calling a lot of like games that most people would call bad, e bad even. I feel like calling a game that, you know, clear, clearly, like, has... Most beloved games have merit to them, and most beloved games, like, whether or not I relate to them and like them for myself can often be argued, but I just... I find it, like, hard to believe that I, I would be able to come up with one, at the very least, on the top of my head right now, that... That I'd be like, it's bad! Everybody thinks it's good, but it's bad! Red Dead Redemption. No, I, <laughs> I, I definitely don't. Here, here's one. I definitely don't think it's bad. I definitely don't think it's bad. But answering it in my criteria, within my criteria, like just, I, I totally like. I think it's a good game that I just can't get into. But this is probably the best answer I can give, given the situation. I, uh, I cannot. And I've tried many times now. I just cannot 
get into Skyrim. I just can't do it. I want to. That, and that's the thing is I want to. Rito, play with mods. No, that... No. I... I don't like I don't usually like playing games with mods that's hence the reason like it's taken me so long to uh, get the mod of the mod of the gungeon back up and going I usually don't care about mods I don't, I don't think like, if you if you need mods for the game to be a pleasurable experience uh, I don't know it, it, it definitely it creates a barrier of entry for me for sure for sure whoop Bullet, bullet, bullet. So, yeah, I guess my answer, and like I said, I definitely don't think it's bad even. My answer is, and the dungeon, no, is, is Skyrim. Because, I, yeah, I, I definitely see its merit. I see its value. I can't get into it. I want to get into it, and maybe I, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. And it just, like, it bothers me because it's so right up my alley. And I just, like, everything about it just screams in my face. You're supposed to like this. You're supposed to love this. And I just can't. I can't. I, I can't l get into it yet. I'll try again, though. I'll try again. Maybe I just have to, like, go about it in a different way. And not with mods. I mean, maybe I'll, maybe I'll throw on, like literal like graphical and like glitch improvement type type mods that kind of thing I'll, I'll throw on maybe but like i don't know i want to see the how the game is because clearly oh my god skyrim didn't get popular because of mods like that's definitely not the case like do do people like mods in skyrim yeah they tell me all the time but uh clearly it wouldn't gotten as popular as it is exclusively because of mods so you know i just want to see what we'll, we'll, i'll try it again i'll try it again is that a is that a joke game you think you're trying to tell me that i'm playing bad because you're not wrong but it's also offensive 360 yes scope man Apparently, we should be able to do it more than once. Somebody also told me that it, they thought it's been fixed. I don't know if that's true. I was under the impression that it still worked, but maybe there was a cap on it that wasn't on it before. Oh, I must. 360. This is not working as well as I would have wanted. Okay, let's see if we can... Uh, We'll mess around with it when we can get our lead skin back. Hey! I miss you, Daruma! Oh, hell. Honestly, that's not even a great situation. Daruma, Jamaica. Ooh, I wish I had you. Alright, we, we tried. This is just a stupid... Oh my god. What a stupid little kind of a run we've got going. It's amazing. 360 yes scope and rolling into the freaking enemy themselves. <laughs> oh my god. This run is insane in the membrane. Anything else here? Wait. It's 144 for Gundramida Strain, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah. Bug boots. Not a horrible idea to go with our weird little rolling build. Alright, out of every game ever in existence, which game would you like to see an original crossover with Gungeon. Ooh. Ooh. I think we're, like, maybe we're talking, like, full-on, like, Cadence of Hyrule level, like Necrodancer Legend of Zelda 
style of, of crossover. Let's go that. Let's go that deep for that. For the sake of it. Since we're playing anyway. Since it's fabrication. Uh, honestly, like... Zelda wouldn't be bad. It wouldn't be bad at all. Um, the gut reaction... The gut base reaction... Tells me Binding of Isaac. Like, I just... I think it would... I think that there could be something... Like, take... I'm talking, like, bi a lot of Binding of Isaac's, like, items. And some of the core mechanic concepts... And man, hell, maybe like a little bit of some of the art style. I like I, I like the clean, clean looking nature of uh, of Gungeon though. But it, I don't know. Maybe the yeah the the world of Binding of Isaac in Gungeon could be pretty interesting. Could be pretty interesting indeed. Ooh. You know what? That being said, we should probably be, for as far as custom characters go, throw in freaking Isaac. Give him the tearjerker, or like that would be. That's actually a really good starting gun too. Oh my goodness! Like not not really good as in like it's strong, but really good as in because with the with the mod the gungeon stuff, you can actually. Uh, you can make it so a, the starter gun has, like, whatever you give them. Uh, you can give it infinite ammo. So you could give them, like, infinite ammo with the tearjerker. That's that's a starting gun right there. You know, like, it ain't good. It ain't good. You'd have to get used to it. It's a little quirky, but maybe you would give him something else to start out with that, like, would, would balance it out. You know, the pilot starter is not a fun starter to start with. But it don't matter, you know? Don't all have to be great bangers. Tearjerker, oh my goodness. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. The gauntlet has been thrown down. Make an Isaac custom character for the uh, Kyle the Scientist Gungeon character mod. Give it a give it a tearjerker with infinite ammo to start with. Ooh, baby. We're gonna go with shock rounds just because I feel like ghost bolts would mess up a couple of our stronger weapons. It, ghost bolts doesn't matter with this one, to be specific. And it would mess up our rocket ants. Oh. That being said, none of them are really getting any, any kind of a benefit from this. Membrane, though, would be amazing. Ooh! Doesn't do a lot of damage or anything, though, it doesn't seem. I wonder if, like, the beam... The, the beam in between the bullets just does something relating to the damage of the gun. Because if it was, like, a flat damage thing, you'd, you'd think it would maybe have killed there. Boom, 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 boom. Gotta love that freaking song. Gotta love it all freaking day long. Nope. Nope. We got Table Tech Rockets. I didn't even process that. <laughs> Obviously, I'm very excited about it. It's such a good get. Not doing that. Even if, I, even if I could do it with Blast Me, obviously I wouldn't be doing it with Blast Me. Table Tech Rockets did a good. That's right. No table for you. Alright. I feel like we have fire immunity because we definitely don't. Maybe it's because Hot Light, I guess. And the music was electrifying. It's electric. Woogie, woogie, woogie. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Oh, <laughs> the one sole survivor. That was not great. That was not great. 
Could this actually be okay with this? Who am I kidding? No, of course not. Of course not. Rapa! Hoppa! I'm ready for you, Jess. I was to I was gearing up to break it. I, I, I might have done it if it wasn't a red chest, honestly. I was gearing up for it. I was rearing up and ready to go. Shall we? Let's do it. I know we could just wait and just fight the boss and do it, but wait. We don't have any kind of shop discount, do we? No. Alright. Oh! Hmm, mm hmm. That's actually gonna be pretty darn slick, I think. I reckon that's gonna be pretty darn slick. Boo ghost. Ghost. ghost! Ooh! It ain't going crazy, but it's making him hurt. Ice cube, ice cube. What do you got for me? Oh, we're, we're up there. We up there. All right. I know we could do the 360 and everything. Oh my God, I'm gonna jump in the pit on accident here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they if it if it's been changed. Cause I you would think that would have maybe killed. Not the uh not killed. Done a a buttload of damage, a very huge and noticeable amount of damage. If it's still stacked indefinitely. Not that it does, like, bad damage. Not that it does bad damage. It's just, I guess maybe I'm thinking of with the op. Because that's even more noticeable, because it just, like, the, the baseline damage is already really high, because it's the op. That was such a dumb choice. Almost as dumb as that. Okay. I don't know if we had any guns where we would have been able to one cycle that. Maybe, probably the Gungeon Ant if we uh, we did the gun drop technique. Over and over and over, I guess. That probably would have worked pretty slick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would have, that probably would have worked. I ain't gonna beat myself up about it. And you ain't gonna beat myself up about it, please. 35, we got enough to go by half heart. Fantastic. Let's go to the mall. Let's go down to bullet hell. I think we got a really fine shot, like a totally normal, normal shot in bullet hell. Do we have a, a crazy run going? Not in like a crazy strong kind of way. We kind of got a, there's some weird mechanics at play here for sure. Our strength, is derived from strange locations. Like we can get some dodge roll damage up in there, up in there. I mean, it does a lot. Like it's, a, and it's not a bad idea. Like put on that invincibility, we can, we can go to town, you know? Spin, 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 spin. What am I? Do it! Why is it working? Alright. Kills. I don't know. That I feel like that wouldn't have done a double kill. Because you get uh diminishing damage. Unless Ghost Bullets deletes that. Which I guess I wouldn't put it past it. One shot, gotta make it count. Get the 
360, no hit. Also, it looks like the piercing. Oh, interesting. Oh, this actually might not be too shabby. Not too shabby. Oh, that table just went through the wall. Did you see that? Am I crazy? We also have the prototype rogue, and I haven't even touched that. Honestly, because it's, it's good, but it's just like, I don't know. Of all the guns in the game that are crazy, this one is like on the low end of the craziness spectrum. So I just, I look at it, I'm like, why aren't you your father? Papa, Papa, Papa Railgun. No prototype. Haven't you been enough of a prototype? Yeah, I don't think this is like a good idea. It's fun to look at. And dang, I love them slick tunes. I'll play it as I roll around. No kill? 360 no kill? Shoot. Can we push it? Oh! We're taking way too much damage by being a goofball. That slow down. From the Blaguan stone. Where was that, uh... Shoot. Where's that gun muncher? Because I probably will use it, to be frank. It'd be kind of interesting to have a character with this as a starter with infinite. Like, yes, I know that there's the, uh, there's the synergy. There's the synergy. But that would make it, I don't know, that'd be kind of interesting. Because then with that character, you kind of want to go to the second secret floor every time. But the benefit of going from the base gun to it is less huge. Because it already has infinite ammo. So like it still would be it's still a good idea. Well, we'll come back. We'll come back. As we run out of ammo and in stuff, we'll munch more. If we make it the boss, we got all kinds of empty guns. Like, of course, we're going to put them in, you know? What else are you going to do? You can't take it with you. Yeah, this is doing some pretty, pretty darn good work. You know what we should use as a weapon? Our body. Your body is a weapon, man. Huh. We might have picked the wrong way. All right. Don't push me into the pit. I pushed you into the pit. Hey, you pushed me into the pit with you. Do I? I took damage even though I'm invincible technically. Oh. Ain't it the way? This is jarring. Gave me something. Oh my god. That is. Well, actually, that's a synergy with this. The resplendent. We take those, I guess. Like, I don't know if it does anything special. Because I don't think the damage stacks. Awesome. There it is. I was like, I was gonna say, is it is it even that synergy? Because I'm not saying anything. It just it just, just dropped the uh, the mimic word though. Where? Boo, spooky ghost. If you wanted to scare a ghost away, boo is probably not the best thing to do. That's probably like that's probably like the joke they get every single day. You know, it's like we don't say that anymore, Greg. 
That is so tired, Greg. Boo, get it. Because we're ghosts. Greg, we get it. It was, it was maybe funny the first time, Greg. Maybe. Citation needed on that one, even. Ba -ba. We're almost out of ammo in this now, too. Can we get an ammo drop for good golly's sake? Old Saint Jolly's sake. Pop. 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 I'm living ammo, man. I'm living ammo. Uh oh. That could have gone sour. These guys are rocks. Hoping we're going the right way because we are super having to choose our battles with ammo here. Honestly, even if we got one ammo up at this point, I don't know that it would really change that much. The ammo efficiency of our weapons is just leaves a little bit to be desired. Courage. Courage! What if, does Let Skin give you extra damage on your dodge roll? That'd be neat. Unnecessary, but also neat. And it's gone. And that's gone. I mean, these are bangers, don't get me wrong. But also, come on. All right, so we're gonna we're just gonna munch all the things. Hopefully, we get something. Hopefully, we get some. There we go. Hopefully, it's anything of value. Mmm. We take those. Ghost bullets is probably gonna bungle it. Oh. Or maybe it's actually making it stronger. You thought it would bungle me, but it only made me stronger. All right, if we take a little hit or so, it doesn't really matter. Probably don't take a lot of hit. All right, this could not have gone much better for that. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, gun muncher drop. I don't know what would be even what would be better than this With what we've gotten like not e not even crown of guns unless we had remote bullets too or something crown of guns would go well with it I guess but Fire dodge dodge fire dodge. Oh, I tried to blank. We don't have any of them fire dodge fire dodge Fire, dodge, dodge. This is crazy. This is some of the strangest OP-ness that we've ever had. We're, we're very, very strong right now. But the reasons are just so strange. I, Ice Cube, I... I, I don't know. I, I said before, I'll say it again. Ice Cube can really make things broken really fast. The fact that we can get our potion of lead skin so often is quite nuts. Like, we got it back again already. You are in for a bad time, and now we are legally allowed to rent the car. We did it. Streak of 25 or 3,000. 3,000 being the age that you can rent a car on planet Zork Bork. Where's my pen? Where's my pen? But alas, there we go. We are on streak of, official streak of 25. I don't know what the actual streak is. I, I Something like 250, maybe it's at 260 even by this point, I don't know. But alas, that's gonna do it for today. Subscribe for daily Enter the Gungeon videos. We'll probably be doing a foray into some Mada Gungeon extra, like uh, new characters, stuff like that soon. But that is going to do it for today. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Subscribe for daily Into the Gungeon videos. I already said that. I'm on an infinite loop. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Subscribe for daily Into the Gungeon videos. 
Join the Discord with the link in the description. Follow me on twitch.tv slash Retromation. Follow me on Twitter, I guess. RetromationYT. Thank you, thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.